Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, welcome back to more XCOM Enemy Within a Long War. I'm Liz. If you want the latest details about what's been going on in any of the campaigns, any announcements I've made uh, for any of the games that I'm playing, take a look at the links in the description. That is the Discord, where you can see whatever announcements I make, so you don't have to look for all of the different comments and all the different videos of all the different series that you don't care about. Also, my Twitter, where I post all kinds of other details as well. If you end up watching this video and you find it fantastic, and who wouldn't find Long War fantastic, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. That'd be wonderful. Also, comments! Comments, guys! I want to hear your comments! Comments are great! I love hearing them. I want to know what you have to say about Long War, about uh, U-Cross Rebalance, about anything at all. Um, so comments would be fantastic. If you've been binge-watching this series and you want more, more XCOM, more tactical gameplay, you want to know when this, these videos come out, subscribing would be fantastic! I love that! And if you are just insane, and you would like to contribute financially to uh, help assure that we can continue making these kinds of videos and that we can continue to do things like live streams and all that kind of stuff into the future, then you can do that by becoming a channel member through YouTube Gaming. So the YouTube Gaming channel front page is also linked in the description. You can join the channel as a member from there. It's sort of like a Twitch uh, subscription um, and you can contribute in that way. if you so choose. Today we have a small scout in South Africa, probably. I'm actually going to let time go, and if we get something like an abduction, we're going to have to do that first. But we have a small scout in South Africa, most likely. Uh, before we commit to that, though, um, there's a couple things that I want to do. First, I want to go to the Situation Room, and I want to go to Covert Operations, because I see that there is an unknown cell presence, which means that uh, we are ready for an intel scan. And it's going to cost us 50. Intel scan complete. Cool. Positive United ID States Excel exalt cell. We want to infiltrate this. We do not want this cell to activate and get a mission off. They could cause panic in a territory. They could steal money from us. Those suck. We want to hit these missions as fast and as hard as we can. Halo is not the operative on this mission, though. Um, I believe the operative on this mission should either be an assault or it should be Kim. We don't have any gene mods for Kim. We haven't been going hard into the gene mods yet. We don't have any assaults that I want to send on it. I only have the two right now. We can send a specialist, right? Yeah, see, none of these guys have 15 mobility. You've got 14 Keep everyone with 70 aim. You're a great infantry. Testing some potentially dangerous new equipment down there. 13 mobility. Oh, you're a great infantry. I would love to have you as an infantry. I'd really like to have lightning reflexes on them though, so I think we are going to go with Kim again. Having an assault would be great so we can activate those uh, towers though at great distances. But you know what, you don't even get it at rank 1 anymore at specialist. You don't get it until later and you have to take it versus other things. So yeah, you know what Kim, congratulations you're going on this mission again. Your loadout is again uh, the laser pistol. And an alien trophy, and I don't think I don't know anything else. No. Nope. Maintenance. A laser pistol and an alien trophy, so you don't panic. Absolutely 100. Whoops! Uh, nope, that's the wrong soldier again. Kim. Laser pistol, alien trophy, fantastic. Send Over operative on to mission. To disrupt exalt cell in. They should the get United burnt. States. If you send an operative on one mission to one cell, they should get burned. Like, exalt should have some, like they have the headquarters they should have some kind of intercell communication as a result and you should burn an agent if you send them in somewhere then you can't use them again although that would be kind of a pain in the ass because people build up one agent up to do all that radar. stuff Haven't gotten any outside um, okay so next I want to drum up a little bit of money I only need a little bit I don't have any of these things to sell. I do have meld though. So we're going to sell meld down since I'm still not using it to like 100. That'll give us 69 more bucks. Uh, engineering, buy things. I want to build a stun rifle. Building it quickly is going to be two days. Holy crap, that's not actually much more money. And it's only two mel. You know what? We're just going to build this stun rifle quickly. It's only going to take two days. Two days is 48 hours, which means we're not going to have it done in time for the UFO. But you know what we are going to have done in time for this UFO? An alloy shiv. Do I want to bring an alloy shiv with a super heavy 
laser. I kind of want to bring an alloy ship with super heavy laser, but this is a small UFO, so bringing people for experience is a really good idea on this, so we're actually going to send people for experience. So we aren't actually going to let the game run too far there. Uh, yeah, you're available again, let's bring you along. Um, who else wants to be on this mission? Mary. We've got uh, the, the whole team from last time that needs experience, basically, I guess. Right? Yeah, Morales, you're here. Nangong, you're here. They're all equipped with their gear as well. Fantastico. Okay, and then who else did you have with you? You had the special counsel and you had uh, Pappy, right? So who are we going to get? We, we, we want to scout for sure, and I feel like I probably want assault as well. So do we just send the special counsel and Pappy again? Kim is already out on a mission. Alternatively, we can send Dustin. I guess we got to get him experienced somehow, right? This is, this is a training mission in a sense. We want promotions if we can. And an assault would be great. I mean, we could send Pappy, try and get him up to Sergeant. Like hardcore to sergeant as fast as possible. God, rocket! Ooh, you're 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 rolling in the experience. That Overwatch build, man. That Overwatch build. Alternatively, who can we send? You guys are a little ways away still. Oh, you're close to. Pro oh, okay. No, you are actually at it already. Uh, Kuhn is really close to a promotion. Let's send him. Okay, that's it. That's the squad. Let's make items available. Morales, that's... No, that's not fine. We're going to change this laser sight out for an enhanced beam optics. I've got three of them available. Rockets here, this is good. You are good here. We need the flashbangs. This is flashbangs. We need the smokes. That's four smokes, and then you got your med kits. Um, what's your aim? 68. Kind of like you'd have enhanced beam optics, but I need you to hit your shots. So I won't bring it on you. We we probably bring it on our engineer who's got like 70 something aim. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. You're gonna enhance beam optics, and instead of the heavy laser rifle, you are just gonna get a regular old everyday laser rifle. Because we have Specialist Kuhn here this time, and he's gonna get that heavy laser rifle, also phalanx armor, drum mags, and an enhanced beam optic. Looks good to me, and Calderon. This is uh, Dustin. You're gonna go with the laser strike rifle, where is that? Right here. Also laser pistol, motion tracker, marksman scope. Phalanx armor for that extra mobility. And then our medic doesn't have. We don't have the shotgun in here, but that's okay. We could technically put the shotgun on you. I mean, do I really like the strike rifle that much? Not really. I really, really like shotguns. That would give us 14, 15, 16, 17 mobility. I also really hate shotguns sometimes, though. Yeah, you know what? We'll keep the strike rifle. That's fine. So that is our team. We've got suppression, we like single target suppression for the outsider if we need it. We've got overwatches, overwatches, overwatches. No, you're a specialist, so you don't have it yet. But you've got volume of fire, volume of fire, and heat ammo. Um, nothing special, motion trackers, and utility. That should be okay. Let's launch the mission. Hopefully this should get us a few promotions as well. Should be worth a few promotions. We're heading to South Africa Assuming we all survive. We, which we really, really want to all survive. It looks like the alien crash site is in a remote area. If we move quickly, we may be able to secure the site before the aliens have time to regroup. All right, Bradford. Let's make this happen. I can't believe that last mission, guys. We never withdrew from that last mission. We didn't withdraw, like we pulled those mutons, those five mutons on like turn one, and we didn't withdraw from the mission, and nobody came away with a, a, a wound. Like it, it was in 
insane. Okay, aliens directly in front of us. I don't know if this will pull. I feel like it might. Let's try it. No. Okay, good. That tile does not pull, which means we can aggressively move our gunner. And we can aggressively move Mr. Kuhn here to like here. And we can aggressively move Mary into an overwatch position. And this isn't that aggressive, but I mean, it's still a dash, so we can move up to here. We don't have a sniper. We have not been making extensive use of snipers this campaign. I love me some snipers, don't get me wrong. I would definitely like to play again and play heavy on the sniper, because I like, uh, I like the heavy sniper campaigns as well. Okay, so you pulling is probably not the best thing because, I mean, you got the strike rifle, right? Can anybody else... Okay, you can get into that tile to overwatch at least. Okay, so let's get here. Doesn't activate. Fascinating. Okay, let's move up to here. We're going to overwatch as we go because if we activate, I kind of want to just, you know, get shots on them. Like our free shots. You can't really do much over here, so that sucks. We're going to move up. We're going to see if we activate. We don't. Okay, so where did they go? Okay. I don't want to use the motion tracker again this Got turn. But I might. Just to get a feel for what direction they're obviously patrolling in. Yes, sir. We're going to move Kuhn up to here. It's a dash because he's a little bit slow and we need to get his gun into play. And our medic... You can't actually dash all the way up there, which sucks for you. Yes, and dash you up to here, since we haven't activated anything. We're relatively safe to do that. I think maybe we'll use the motion tracker this turn. Okay, that's a muton. Definitely here a muton. Okay, enemies are up this way again. This will almost definitely activate if we go there. So let's get our auto laser over here. Cool. Let's get you up into here. You're the ones that really matter the most for this. <laughs> yeah, you're actually just going to overwatch. Um, your rocket might have been really useful here, but uh, whatevs. We can shoot and overwatch with you. You could potentially maybe take two shots from here. We're going to keep you available as well, just in case. Let's see what we got. Dustin does not have lightning reflexes. Did the mutons go on overwatch? No. Okay, good. It's a five damage hit. That's good. That's almost half his HP. Okay, so the mutons don't go on overwatch, which is really good because we don't have lightning reflexes here. That would have been really bad. 68. We're getting a promotion just for coming. So it doesn't matter if we get any kills. It's actually better that we don't because unless they change something in the coding of XCOM, you don't get any experience past your promotion. You get locked at uh, whatever you need to get promoted. Unless, of course, they change something, which they very well could have. I wouldn't put that past them. Roger that. Yeah, I know this is low cover. We can only see one target from here. We've got 58. We're going to take that. Damn. 58 to kill a muton is actually really good at this I'll point, so time. we will take that. We've got a 32 at the guy in the front because of range. See, a 60-something to kill a muton would be great, but it's a 60-something to hit a sectoid. Probably a kill if we hit it, though. Those mutons in the front are a problem. We got overwatches. Numerous overwatches. Can we stay here is the question. We've got, you know, we got low profile. He could grenade us. If they grenade us and they blow up our cover, we'll be in trouble. But if they don't blow up our cover, we should be fine. Copy that. We can't flashbang. We can actually almost flashbang. If I went a little bit harder here, we could have flashbang. What we can do, though, is smoke our uh, person who's up in the front, and they're going to have proximity bonuses on him. On the downside, if they get into our smoke and take cover... Oh, that was kind of bad. We maybe should have positioned that better. 
And I'm going to take a 62 on a sectoid, though. Unless, what's my proximity bonus on him? Uh, none, because I actually get the range penalty. We don't get a proximity bonus. If I switch to the pistol, I might have a chance at killing this guy. We'll take a 62 on a sectoid. It's a chance to kill. Four damage. And none of it reduced either. We actually roll the four with a laser strike rifle. Strike rifle already has one damage more than a regular rifle, and it's a laser. Damn. Them low rolls is all I gotta say about that. He's gonna grenade us. But we get a reaction shot. Kill him. Yes! Put him down before the grenade. Alien grenade explodes into fragments. We didn't get a shot on him. And he suppresses us. Do something. I'm down. That's fine. Yeah, suppress my guy in an advanced position. No a problemo. And he overwatches. Okay. Um, so the only way I have to break an overwatch is nowhere because you don't have lightning reflexes. The only way I have to break an overwatch is killing the guy? By the looks of it? Yeah. It's killing the guy. This would pull... Pretty much no matter what we do here is going to pull that overwatch. You don't have shots from here? No, you don't. Nobody has shots. Not having shots sucks. You know what I say when life gives me situations where I don't have shots? I say, yes sir, the rocket is in the mail. Yeah, so that rocket sucked a little bit. It blew up the overwatch, and it stopped the suppression. So that is all that I needed it to do. Like, I didn't actually need that rocket to do anything more than that for us. But it was kind of a crappy rocket. I'm not going to lie, it wasn't the best That's in the world. Our gunner is going to move ahead and overwatch, because our gunner is basically the best overwatch we have. We only get two shots because it's sentinel. We don't get three like we do with our rocketeer. Our rocketeer also uses a rocket, though. But, um... Our gunner does a ton of damage and uh, is guaranteed to be able to get those two shots. So we don't have overwatch spec on Kuhn, so this is definitely a 48% that we take and we hit. No panic! Oh, I hate Intimidate so much now. What? Fuck. No. What's happening? No. This is right. this Chain is panic. Right. No. Okay. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Your will is 40, and you had a 95% to chain panic there. Your will is 26, and you panic. That's no surprise. But you had 40 will, and you got a chain panic on that. And because of that, we lose our Overwatch. Like, fighting mutons is no joke now, guys. It is no joke. They're insane. Absolutely insane. Forty two percent on the muton, sixty two percent on the sectoid. We're gonna take the shot on the sectoid. Unfortunately that means we don't have an overwatch on the muton anymore. We did kill the sectoid, so getting side panicked isn't gonna happen to us at least. Can I like flash boygan this guy? Probably. Yeah. I'm on the move. I could do it from here. We put ourselves in an awkward position, but we can uh, we can hit him with a flash. Prevent him from dropping that grenade on us. He can still use a grenade in XCOM enemy within, but um, its range is very limited. Yes, so sir. extremely limited that he's almost definitely not going to be able to hit us with it. Although, maybe... If he moves towards us, we are pretty close still. Okay, he backs away. He can barely back away at all. He's actually probably in the open. You're still panicked. We got panicked for another round because XCOM, guys. Let's go get vision on him. He is in the open indeed. Mr. Scout, 92%. Can you kill this muton for us? He's got 4 HP. Yeah. You hit for 7. 
we actually did six. Great. Okay, well, let's take a turn to recover from this nasty situation we found ourselves in of everybody panicked due to one muton intimidate. This is why will to survive is important now, guys. Um, it's not just a tanking ability, it's a don't let your people chain panic ability. It's also why alien trophies are important, especially early in the game, but as, again, once you get mutons and they start doing this stuff to you, I'm on it. it's just as important I'm again. Shield, We're gonna reload everybody's weapon. Reloaded. Reloaded. Make sure everybody's recovered. Good. Okay, let's do this. That direction. Sounds like floaters, maybe that right? I couldn't actually tell what that was. That's definitely a floater. Okay, couldn't move here. I want to pull this before we go to the UFO because it only makes sense to not have to fight pods from behind you when you're trying to fight the UFO. I think that makes sense. I don't know if you guys agree. But I don't like to Dark fight pods from behind me while I'm trying to fight the UFO. Like, fight the outsiders. Good copy, moving on target. Time to motor. Let's move on up. Mary, yeah, everybody's getting promoted. Like, it's a guaranteed promotion for basically everybody who survives this mission. Maybe not Dustin. Dustin isn't quite promoted yet. There they are, and there's some floaters. Looks like four. Forty-seven percent. Wow, nice hit. One of them goes into Overwatch. Uh, we are good against these guys, right? I mean, we could go for Zedank flank over here. The thing is, we got Overwatches, so if we go for Zedank flank, we probably want to do it with you. He gonna shoot us? Negatory. It does not look like he's gonna get a shot on us. Looks like we're gonna get a dank flank on him. It's only 86 with 60 to crit though. This probably this I don't think this can kill him actually. Mm. Okay. Um Nangong, you're also a person who is good at fours if flanks, but you you could have gone into that tile. Your shot might have been a little bit better, but I mean not really. We want overwatches with you. Kuhn can move. Again, can't get into cover though to get that flank. That's really the only tile that we could effectively get cover from and have that flank available. And our overwatchers are going to overwatch because overwatchers going to overwatch. It's just the way it is. 62% at the kid in the air. We're just going to take that. Sweet. Just imagine if we had uh, Deadeye as well. Is that plus 30? That would be 92% against the guy in the air. That's insanity. That is the cliffs of insanity. We can't move because he's got overwatch. Uh, you should shoot twice, right? 68 at the kid in the air. Ooh. He's got covering fire. Good to know. Okay, is that a floater thing, or is that specifically that floater? Okay, so that floater had what? It had 7 HP, which is the same as this floater, which means it's a regular pod floater. This guy is a pod leader. There could be leaders, navigators, and regulars. The leaders have extra bonuses, the navigators have other bonuses, and the regulars have whatever they normally have. I haven't autopsied them yet. That's a kill. Nice. Two kills. Out of the game. Bringing these floaters down. We actually got the one with the overwatch as well, so we could move and do other stuff. You'd be really close to him if you did that. He's going to move one way or the other, so let's just move over a tile so we're in this cover and overwatch. And Nangong, you can actually move up and you can overwatch from here. Since you can't apparently shoot from here, I don't know why. But okay. I guess he's behind high cover and he's two tiles in, so I guess that's why you can't see. Does he take off? Does he charge at us? Like, we're gonna. Yeah, he takes off and we kill him. Goodbye. Eight damage. Nice. Nice. I like it. Okay, so that takes care of two pods. That's eight aliens killed. This is a small UFO. There's probably just the outsider left. 
There is the slim chance that there's more to it than that, but it should just be the outsider left. And if that's the case, let's get in there, shall we? Heading out. Um. Yeah, let's just overwatch. Let's not go too crazy here. We don't need to be absolutely balls out bonkers in this situation. Let's just, you know, let's be bonkers, but let's keep our balls in. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah, I'm fairly certain that's all she wrote. There's nothing else in here except for the outsider at this point. So let's get ourselves into position to deal with that. We got Rocketeer Overwatch, so it's not in any of the flight pods at the front, which is fantastic. If it was in one of those flight pods, we might have an issue. Uh, we are ruining our step out from this tile, but that's okay, because we're probably going to follow up with a charge down to here. Yeah, definitely not in these flight pods, also not in that wreckage over there, so we can definitely get in awful close here, and in fact, I'm just going to charge. Medic. We'll charge up to here. Nangong will go over here first and then charge down. We don't have a capture ready, so that's a thing. But whatevs. I think we're going to get the Rocketeer down here too. I don't think I want the Rocketeer using a rocket. Believe it or not. Maybe we do. I don't know. It depends where the Outsider goes. I mean, if we set our people up here, then yeah, no, we're going to stay up here. We're going to stay up here, and for once, we're going to steady weapon just in case. And then you are going to go over uh, here. Probably won't be useful over here, but whatever. If he happens to come around this way and we get a sweet flank on him, then great. I am all for that. Ooh, let's kill him quick and get the meld. Get the meld. So, Kuhn, you need to get into cover. Let's get over here. Do you spot the outsider? You do not spot the outsider. Well, crap. Good to go. Let's get you in over here. One of the auto laser in position to shoot him, so. Oh, I would love to have pulled him this turn, but I don't think it's in the cards. Roger Dodger. I could potentially, you know what, let's do this. We still do not spot him. Okay, so he's not over there. He's like over on this side then. Okay, I can dig it. I can dig it. We probably want to be more over here then, but I mean, this is fine for now. Yes, I know. That means, you know, every turn that goes by, we have a chance of losing that meld, which is not what we want to have happen. But, I mean, it's what happens in this game. This, this surely will see him. Yes, okay, good. So he hides behind cover over there, which is a dick move for him. Um, yeah, we're not going to be able to do much about that. We could deliver a rocket to his face. That's a thing we could do. I mean, we could open the door and you're going to get overwatch shots on him. Let's actually move you here, and we'll get your overwatch shots from there. We're going to move Nangong here and open the door. Hello, Mr. Outsider, it's me, Nangong. Oh, you got shots from here. You do have a 65. Do we have, do you have, oh, you have, yeah. You don't have holo targeting, but 62%. Let's take it. Nice, 62 for five. That's actually more powerful than I would have expected. We got a 68 here. We have no Overwatch abilities with you, so oh my goodness! One turn kill. Not expecting that. I was expecting that to kill him on Overwatch. So that is cool. Nine kills. And we're back to base. It's a nice little quick trip. And look at those promotions. More importantly than the promotions, this gets us closer and closer and closer to that uh, squad size increase. So Nangong is now Dark Star. Thank goodness you have a call sign now. Holy hell. That's going to be a flush because you don't really have the best aim in the world and I would really love for you to hit things. 
hitting things I cannot stress how much I would love for you to do. Uh, Mary is now Bombshell. That's a sweet name. Mary, you're going to be a sprinter and you're going to have the movement of, like, the most ridiculous god ever. Morales is Thor. That is a fitting name, sir. I like that name. Um, we went heat ammo already. We could go shredder ammo. What are we going to do here? Heat ammo. We have access to rapid fire, but we're going to use overwatches, so we don't want rapid fire. Ready for anything synergizes with overwatches, because you can not perform a cat costly action and go into overwatch, which means you move. Grants the primary weapon plus two ammo. And 10 aim on all. Oh my god! Ready for ready for anything. Gives us ammo and 10 aim on reaction shots. I was going to say we're taking hollow rounds because hollow rounds is ridiculous. But oh my god. Heat ammo. Kun. You're going to take, okay, will to survive would protect you from those absolutely ridiculous, you know, chain panic nonsense things. You would not be Overwatch spec then. So if you're not Overwatch spec and we take you will to survive, what spec are you? If you do go vital point targeting or you can go bring them on, then you can go tenacious defense and you can go like crazy defense tanky. Ooh, we can make Alexander Kuhn our bio tank. That's a thing we could do. Make him our bio tank, have will to survive, get tenacious D instead of dead eye. Lock and load is mandatory. Ranger and then extra conditioning. That's something we could do. You're going. Okay, the other option is we just always have you in visual range of an officer. Like, always. Which means you have to go with an officer now who's got like 50 will. That's another option for you. If we want to go Overwatch spec, we can do that. Otherwise, you are going to panic to mutons every time. Do we rely on officers, guys? I'm going to rely on officers. Bad move. Probably a bad move. Probably a very dangerous move. We probably should have taken Will to survive there. Sectoid floaters, mutons, Illyrium. Watch the next mission he goes, and I'm probably going to forget what I just said. <laughs> Alloys, weapon fragments, meld, a flight computer. We're not getting many power sources. Let's go to the gray market, and let's sell these. I usually hold on to these. When Exalt is active, I generally hold on to things and sell them only when I need them. Because, uh, Exalt. But at the same token, um, let's, let's just get it out of our inventory. We, we are scanning for them, so we're, we're, we're sort of protecting ourselves. Alloy Shiv, done right away. Ten meld for two scientists from France. Yeah, let's do it. Is it an Alloy Shiv? Abductions! Commander, we're receiving several... Montreal! We're going to head to Montreal this time, guys. Fantastic. So we have, how many hours do we have on that? We can see it from engineering, right? One hour on the alloy ship, guys. One hour. But this is a light abduction, so this is a training day mission. We definitely do not want to be taking an alloy ship on this mission. Well, maybe. Maybe if I want to take a lot of really crazy rook rookies, like straight up rookies, then the alloy ship could babysit them potentially. That's a thing that we could do. Let's let's have the option on the table. <laughs> Look at it. It's so cute. <laughs> we got 15 alloys back as well. Nice. I like it. Okay. Ooh, stun rifle. How long? How long? How long on the stun rifle? 11 hours. Why is six days ahead of 11 hours. That doesn't make sense. I guess I queued it up first. 11 hours is not long enough. I, I have seven hours to uh, to do. So we will not have a stun rifle on this mission. 
Okay. Well, with that, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for tuning in. I have been Liz. This has been XCOM Enemy Within Long War. Uh, you cross Long War Rebalance, tweaked by Liz. That's me. Bye-bye.